Welcome, <clears throat> pardon me, welcome back to your hour. Joining me now is Paul Rosales from Remax Realty Professionals. And uh, Paul is going to be talking to us about things that you need to do to get your house ready for winter. Yeah, winter and, you know, holidays are coming up and some folks are going to have some people come over. Mm -hmm. um, might be a good idea to get your carpet clean. You know, if you're going to mm. have people coming over and you got light colored carpet. Oh, I wait and have it cleaned after <laughs> they leave. <laughs> it depends on what it looks like beforehand. Yeah, I've seen some carpet that needed to be cleaned before and after. Okay. That's for sure. But um, as far as getting your house ready for winter, it, it's, you know, getting ready to go into the rainy, cold, snowy mm -hmm. season that we're going to get into. Might not be a bad idea to go through the exterior of your home and start taking a look at some of the caulking that needs to be done. Caulking is designed to keep moisture and debris out of the little cracks and crevices that all houses have, uh, you know, from the time that they're built. So go around and do, I did this at the, at the end of last, or at the beginning of, of uh, spring this year. Went through and caulked all my windows and everything, got all that taken care of. Plus it just helps to lock in your heat, keeps drafts out of the house, things like that. So go through, caulk the, you know, the windows, the doorways, things like that on the exterior of the home. Those are some things that are pretty important to do. And easy. Yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. one of the first things that comes up on a, uh, a home inspection is uh, an inspector will go through with like a screwdriver or a pen or a pencil, mm -hmm. and he'll just kind of tap through some of the lower parts of the window seals, mm -hmm. and if there's wood rot, it just goes right through it sometimes. And then you're, you're going to have an issue with replacing the bottom seal mm -hmm. on a window or a door or something like that. And, and why you have to do that when all you've got to do is caulk mm -hmm. and make sure that you, you've done some painting. Um, that's the other part. Once you've done your caulking, uh, you want to make sure you're do, you'll do your painting. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to make sure that's all sealed up or, or the other way around, depending on the condition of what you're dealing with. But the paint is, is basically the armor of the house. You know, it protects it from rain, sleet, snow, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, moisture, things of that nature, especially with the heat that we had le over the summer. Oh, man, that was yeah. brutal, wasn't it? <laughs> we kind of forgot about that, didn't we? <laughs> but a lot of houses swelled. Uh -huh. And you know, if anything swells, if you put, if you put something hard on some, uh, on on another surface, uh -huh. you swell it and then you, you you reduce it. Like what's happened with the cool weather we have now, uh -huh. you're going to have some cracking in some of your paint. So take a good look around around your house and, and check the paint. You know, around the soffits, around the awnings, things uh -huh. like that. Uh, especially those areas that are going to be heavily exposed to some of those north winds. You want to take a look at that, and you know, your paint might have looked great for the last three or four years, but after the summer we had now, and that goes for the caulking also, because your caulking is somewhat flexible, yeah. and, and but it's not flexible enough to handle the expansion that, that we went through with a lot of the properties. Well, and, and none of that stuff lasts forever. You still have to mm -hmm. up, upgrade or update ever so often. Yeah, and if you have stucco, take a look at that stucco too, because you know that stucco, it's, it's kind of tough stuff, but still, you need to take a good look at the stucco and make sure that you don't have some cracks, because the last thing you want is for is for uh, moisture to get behind that stucco and you forget about it and then you have a mold problem mm -hmm. between the stucco and the siding so you want to make sure that you take a good look just spend a little time on the exterior of your home um, now's a good time to start taking a look at those chimneys uh, get someone out there to take a look at your chimney make sure that it's in good working order before you start uh, starting a fire inside your house mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you're good to go on that make sure there aren't any critters up there yeah no doubt you don't <laughs> want a barbecue that you didn't want yeah that can be kind of nasty that's, that's not much fun at all but um, you know take a look at the exterior you can do you can do your own visual inspection on the outside make mm -hmm. sure that you have the cage on top that helps to keep the critters out helps mm -hmm. to keep debris and things like that from coming inside the house have somebody uh, competent take a look at the interior of, of the, the fireplace, make sure it's good to go, and um, just make sure it's not a fire hazard for you. Mm -hmm. uh, get your heater checked. If you haven't had your heater checked in a while, now's a good time to get it checked. Um, you don't want gases coming back into the house. You don't want to spend too much money on your heating. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have like a cracked heat exchanger or something like that, mm -hmm. you might have a lot of yellow flame. And obviously we all learned in school that yellow flame is not as effective as, as blue flame. You want that nice pretty blue flame. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you're getting the most bang for your buck. If you're going to be paying for that gas, you might as well, or that, uh, well, gas because you won't have a blue flame on electricity, you might as well get the most for that. Mm -hmm. um, if you have an electric heater, yeah, you can go ahead and want to check that also. Make sure that it's not going to be a fire hazard. Uh, a lot of people haven't been under their house in a while. I have, and uh, you should have insulation around your air, your duct work. Mm -hmm. Make sure your insulation is there and that it's it's in good order. Sometimes insulation will come loose. It'll mm -hmm. be there, but it'll be peeled open or something like that. 
make sure that you have insulation on uh, on your ductwork. Make sure that it's properly sealed and you may even want to go ahead and get one of those water heater jackets for the water heater so that your water so that you're not spending so much money on gas. Mm -hmm. So just take a little time, you know, the weekend. It's going to be a little cooler this weekend, especially Saturday. It's going to be a little cooler. It might be a good day to, to, to do some maintenance inside the house as well as outside. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't have any cracked windows, you know, because mm -hmm. with the expansion that we had, uh, if the wood's expanding, that can mm -hmm. that could have added pressure to some of the glass. Yeah, you know, speaking of that, one night uh, while it was still pretty pretty hot outside, one night if we were getting ready to go to bed, and I heard just a, a real quick sound that was loud, and I mm -hmm. couldn't identify it. And it took me a while to figure out what it was. It wasn't until the next day when I noticed that I had a crack in one of my panes mm -hmm. in my bedroom window. Yep. And it was from the heat. Yeah, it expands the walls, and then uh -huh. the walls put the pressure on the window seals, and then there you go, you've got yeah. popped windows. And that can really be an issue if you have those insulated windows, because mm -hmm. that's when you're going to start getting the foggy window situations. Mm. And in that situation, you, you can replace the window or you know, give me a call. I know some folks who can go on ahead and inject the new gas into your window and get all that cleared up. And here's my, uh, come here, buddy. My son Jackson. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. 